Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for checking out the videos. And my guest today is Chris Wallace. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm doing great. How about you? Pretty good. So it's awesome. a nice sunny day out there today. Yeah, sunny and muggy, huh? <laughs> it's been a strange year. Very, very strange year. <laughs> Such a, a weird thing that we're going through these days with the, the plague and so many other things that have happened. Absolutely. Yeah. Nobody anticipated all of this a year ago, you know. That <sighs> yeah, it's uh, fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> so. You feel like it's affected some of the songs you've written lately that you've uh, recorded? Um, c yeah, kind of in a way. Um, I've, it's with what's going on, especially with the, the pandemic, um, and being quarantined, I feel like I have more time to focus. Yeah. Uh, and kind of put, we're, so, we're everybody's, you know, uh, I'm prone to it, but everybody's busy bodies. We're always constantly doing something. And yeah. uh, I, I think it has influenced my music. You know, I'm able to sit down and, and go, okay, you know, I, I have the time to, to sit, to write, to kind of meditate about it. Yeah. Um, and, and definitely the, the negative energy has taken its toll. You know, it's hard to, to be home all the time. But I try to think of the positives with it. Being able to be home, being able to have time with, with my wife and actually have time to go, I can, I can write a song now, you know, <laughs> without yeah. a, having to just kind of rush and, and come up with something on the spot. But uh, yeah, I, I would say it's influenced my music. Didn't you put something out on YouTube about uh, for when you're in a dark mood or whatever? Yes, yeah. Um, I man, I've I've put so much stuff out there whenever I'm in a dark mood. <laughs> so, but uh, my I just recently posted um, my music video for Lunching. Um, I I just finished that. I started it. I was kind of prototyping it during the quarantine. And um, I finally finished it this week and got it out. And um, that song, uh, Lunching, means calm in Chinese. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Chinese culture. Um, I've always loved the music, and, and it's soothing to me, the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And um, to me, I, I felt like that song, particularly at this moment, really plays an important part because I, I try to stay calm with everything crazy that's going on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that's that that's that dark atmosphere that that I go through sometimes and uh so I thought you know it would be great to get that out there and and do that and so that's uh, the background that you have right now it uh... yes so this is the background um I, me and my wife Jess made this um for my album release and uh some of the bigger shows or festivals that I play um I'll take this out and have it behind me just to kind of promote the the symbolic message of it. And this means that uh, this is the uh, Chinese character for lunching in the back, so. And what does the word actually mean? Calm, calm in oh, Chinese. Okay, yeah. What got you involved with that culture initially? Well, um, funny story. Uh, I had several friends growing up that, that were that heritage and that culture and um, Really, it was the music, the, just the music. I think it sounds very, like I said, calm and relaxing. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the bands that I listened to growing up, um, more of the rock stuff would implement cultural instruments into yeah. their playing. And it just gave it kind of that, that boost. And so when I was writing the album, I had, had all the songs down. And I played it for a few friends, a few family members, and they really liked it, but they said, you know, it needs something different, something that can kind of expand it a bit. And so um, obviously I, I can't afford uh, real cultural instruments. So I went on my keyboard and I found a bunch of different little presets of like a sitar and Chinese strings. And I started adding that to my music and it, it just changed it. It gave it a whole new dynamic. And um, the first song that I did that on was Lunching. And I was like, 
you know, I need to, it, it's, it's a dark song, but it makes me feel calm and, and level headed. So I, I looked up the, the Chinese word for calm and it was lunching. And that's how I got the idea of the album and got the idea of that kind of culture. It just really kind of took a hold of me. And uh, I had a, I had a completely different uh, way I was going to do the album. I was going to do just a really heavy to the wall, like guitar shred, you know, and then I ended up going this whole, whole different path. <laughs> so, yeah. That's weird how albums kind of grow organically. And I never, I never wanted to do an album. I just wanted to do demos. I wanted to do demos and EPs and, and just random stuff because I, it was never something I anticipated doing, but I was messing around with some different guitar effects and, and recording sounds. Yeah. Cause you know, I, I, I record everything myself and I, I did one song and then I ended up doing another and then another and another, and it just started flowing. And I, I had about 13 or 14 songs. <laughs> How many songs do you have with that now on YouTube? Um, so on YouTube, I think I'm almost, I'm either right at or over 20 videos on YouTube now. Um, not a whole lot, um, but with the album, I think Lunching is 11 tracks. 11 on, tracks, yeah. Yeah, 10 or 11 tracks. Um, and I enjoyed I, listening to those. Thank you, yes. It, they are relaxing, they really are. They are, and it's funny because, you know, it's it's very guitar-driven, but I think the the melodic sounds of the strings and stuff really kind of layer it in a different way and um, I try to keep it as simple as possible I, I think of a when I play guitar my guitar sings my, my guitar is the singer of, of my band yeah <laughs> so who is that guy that guy in the videos uh-huh who is yeah. that guy uh as uh, so the guitar video like Steve I and stuff no, no the uh, there's some guy that uh, is expressing uh, angst or something with a cloud, oh. the smoke in the water, and then. Um... Oh, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> so, but a, a good example for me would be BB uh, King. BB King yeah. was very, very, you know, Lucille. He he would talk and sing in his songs, but his guitar would just kind of take toll, yeah. and and that's. That's what I tend to do in my music. I keep it simple, but I, it's almost like, you know, she's the vocalist for me. <laughs> I'm like the, vi the visuals in one of those videos. I noticed there's a, you have like water and then smoke. Then yes. I like smoke. Yeah. And then yeah. there's, there's some guy with long, long hair and a beard. Oh, that was me. <laughs> that's you? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Oh, okay. That's what you were talking about. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I... I thought it would be cool to like do something like a close up vision or whatever uh, visual there. And I was like, I'm just going to toss that in there for fun. <laughs> I thought it was you. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't know I have long hair because I always keep it tucked back in the hat. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It gives you a different look for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you put tracks out that are for like in educational purposes yes I'm along and you, you do video lessons also or I do so um actually next week is my two-year anniversary of my lesson studio Chris Loss Music really? um so I I think the last interview we did I had just started teaching um but I opened my my own studio two years ago out in Fort Worth um I teach in person in Fort Worth and I also teach in person lessons and online lessons from my, my home studio. Yeah. Um, and I do, um, I do some online education, uh, but the online videos are actually, you know, obviously covers or songs that I do. Um, but I have, um, jam alongs that I do once a month on Facebook where, okay. um, I just go Facebook Live and I, I play a, a rock backing track that I made. And in the comments, I'll put chords and a scale chart. That way other guitarists can kind of just jam along from the comfort of their home. Yeah. 
And then afterwards, I'll upload the track to YouTube. That way, they can have a, a track to play along to if they want to do something live or yeah, a or something. But I have a video um, of your student recitals. Yes. So I do. Um, so I usually do once a year. I'll do a winter recital in person. Um, and I had to do an online one this year, obviously for coronavirus. <laughs> so. Um, but yes, uh, a lot of my students filmed themselves playing songs that they worked on, and I did a little bit of editing and and made a student recital for them. They're the next generation, so yeah, <laughs> try to teach them right, you know. <laughs> and you did the NPR, uh, what is it, uh, Little Desk or something? Yes, yeah, so that was, I think, 2018, I submitted that, um, and, it, and it got accepted. Um, I want to try to do that again um, in 2021. That was a lot of fun. Um, I've done NPR. I have done um, Beyond the Dawn Studios. I've been played on there. Um, I was played on the guitarist of the underground on there as well, which was a bunch of other instrumental guitarists all around the world. Um, oh, really? So yeah, um, my most popular song off the album is Unaccepted. Um, I've, I've, been, I've had that song played a couple times. Um, and then the most recent project I'm working on, trying to get me, I've been kind of back and forth with them on um, getting my music licensed for TV and film. And so, yeah, that's cool. Um, Who is that yeah. through? Um, it is through a company called In the Groove Music. Um, my sister's band is through there, and she recommended me to them. Um, so I've been kind of back and forth with them. Um, nothing confirmed yet, but fingers crossed. Uh, I'm hoping uh, it works out. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. But, well, I've enjoyed listening to your videos, and uh, we're going to include a couple of songs with the show. And um, you, like you say, you do covers as well. Out, outreach, um, what was that song? Uh, Reach Out by the Outfield. Yeah, reach out by the outfield. Yes, I'm I'm a big outfield fan. They're one of my favorite bands. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I do uh, all kinds of covers. I do video game covers from Zelda, Metroid, Halo to you know covers of Ozzy, Metallica, outfield, all that. <laughs> so you liked Metallica back in the day, and oh, I still do. I, I listen to anything and everything. I. I, I think I was listening to Ozzy this morning, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. He's uh, that, uh, what was that, um, that first big album they had years ago, Paranoid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some Sabbath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sabbath. And, and, you know, Ozzy, to me, has always had the best guitar players for metal, metal and rock. I mean, Randy right. Rhodes, Back Wild, Jakey Lee. They're all just fantastic guitar players. And, but, That's a good idea for a singer to team up with people like that. Oh, and I mean, the, the stuff Randy Rhodes did, I, he's just a legend, a hero of mine, and very, just the class, the, you know, neoclassical and a shredder. And, you know, he just had his own personal identity with the guitar that yeah. I think a lot of players forget about, you know, he, he just had that personal attachment, just like Eddie Van Halen or Steve Vai or Eric Johnson, you know, yeah. they, they really connect with the instrument. And, um, yeah, they're, they're all heroes, heroes of mine. I, I hope to, well, I can't meet Randy Rhodes, but, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe one day, right? So <laughs> well, I appreciate you being on the show today and, um, I've enjoyed listening to your music and wish you the best of luck with all your, with your school and all the various things you're doing and TV rights and things like that. That's a good idea because you never know what, uh, what might come from that. Absolutely. I'm like I said, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm praying and hoping something works out. So, and I appreciate you doing the interview and helping out local musicians. That's, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much. I enjoy it a lot. And, you just grew up in a musical family, I guess. Your dad plays music. Yes. So my mom and dad played. They both played, and I just, I, I was in it. It's in the blood, I guess. Yeah. He's 
my, my dad is my biggest inspiration and hero. Uh, without, without him, I, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd probably be stacking boxes at a warehouse or something. <laughs> so, He's played a lot. Like you, so. He's played a lot in East Texas. I did. Yeah. So I grew up in East Texas and, um, played, you know, I, I had little, little high school bands I was in and, um, played at the church for a while. Um, but I started taking classical guitar at Tyler junior college. Really? And, um, I took from professor Frank Kimlico and, um, the man is just brilliant, very brilliant, very easygoing. Um, if I, if I still lived in Tyler, I would, uh, probably still be taking lessons from him. He just, yeah. he taught me a whole, whole new dynamic of music. And, um, but yeah, that's, that's where it all started was East Texas. And then my wife moved up here. We were dating in high school and college and she moved up here for Texas women's. And, you know, she told me, she's like, you need to move up here and get in a band because there's so much music in Denton. Yeah. So I finally manned up and uh, moved up here, and it's been great ever since. So, it's a good community. It is. It's great, and uh, I mean, I'm very thankful for for all the experiences I've I've had with you know you and um, Remain being able to play in a band for you know four years, and then being able to do open mics at Killers and stuff. It's just been I've made a lot of great friends. I'm super thankful for it. Yeah, it's a good circle of people for sure. It is. Everybody just helps each other out. That, that's what I like about it. You know? Yeah. And trustworthy and, you know, it's, you know, you, you put something up like, I need a band to play or I need some local acts. It, it just fills up so quickly. Everybody's oh, just yeah. on top. So, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great evening. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it and have a great day. Mm -hmm.